All right, we're back in Cradle, ready to pick some flowers, I guess. And we got this genometer. Sorry, not genometer. How could I possibly have thought that? So yeah, let's just go and get some flowers, I guess. And then hopefully Tabaha will just... Sorry, Tabaha. Good lord. We'll just be here, right on cue. Oh. The number on the chest is a personal heredity quotient. Everybody's got one, yourself included. Aha. Uh -huh. It represents the degree of purity of your DNA. In other words, it's your value to society. And what's my value? I don't know. You can't see it. But yeah, that, that does confirm I'm definitely not human, organic, in that sense. This flower won't work. It's not fully open. What do you mean? Looks fully open to me. Then which ones are fully open? What? Oops. Pick it up. Not fully open. Not fully open. This one? Ah, oh, there we go. Dramatic. Oh, crap. Let me see, you have to, like... Keep it in there. What? Break? I need to aim better next time, huh? What do you mean, aim better? It was, like, right on it. Also, nice to have, like, super pinpoint fine aiming in a game with, like, a mouse dead zone where you can't actually, like, move the mouse with any degree of accuracy. Do we just, like... Ignore this and check a different one, meanwhile? Okay, I was trying to, like, click many times. So what was it? Red? 70% or higher? So I could take this one. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'll take it for now, but... Don't we want, like, even better ones to impress him? Eighty-three. That's even better. So, yeah, let's just, like, ditch this one. I can't move the mouse at all. Eighty-one. So let's just take these two for now, but surely we can find one with like 90 plus, right? Wow, that one sucks. It's so, so... 92?! Okay, so make sure I, like, throw one away first. No, no, no. I need you. Oh, crap. But now I don't know which one is which. I assume this is the older one. Can I just, like, drop it? And then scan it again? Can you stop rolling? No, the item doesn't work. Well, crap. That one looks great. Let's take that one. Ninety-five! Okay, I'm just gonna take these two and assume that I got the right ones. So then orange, 80 or higher, and yellow, 90 or higher. So 
but where are the open ones? I only see, like, half-open ones. Here's one. A couple. I, I, I don't understand. Why is that happening? Like, because I was too far away? Because I was clearly aiming right at it. Yes, it's strange. Something is weird about this aiming... These suck. Uh, I think I'm being ambushed. 93. I'll take it. Take that. Death by flower. One orange, one yellow. So we just need that one yellow now. Can't I just, like, bring this out? Ow. Nope. Didn't have time yet. Yeah, it's very awkward to, like, pick stuff up sometimes. It just, like, doesn't register. I just wanted to, like, hold this out, but I guess this doesn't reach as far as the lightsaber. It's not as potent of a weapon. That one isn't open, is it? No. It's kind of hard to see which ones are, like, actually open. Ninety-four? I mean, that's fine. Let's take it. Do we have any questions to be answered from this thing at this point? Nope. I don't know if that's ever going to be relevant. Is this where we have to, like, fix the electricity and satellite and stuff, maybe? For the phytocopier? I don't know. So... New task added. Tabaha will get your lens. Yep. Make fighter copies. Wow, amazing. I know. But... Where do we get the covers? Like, here's one, I guess. Or... Oh, I guess maybe we just, like, it's already loaded up and we just put the flowers in. Ninety-one. I like how it said it says seventy-two, even though it's ninety-one. Lid open. Yeah, just want to test that. Hey, do you have anything to say? Nope. That was weird. Ninety-four. Yep, we got both nineties, so every single one is above ninety. Let's see if he uh, praises me. Let's see if I can do, like, yeah, all of them. 72, 72, this one's, what, 65? 85? Or 86? I think it's 85. It's hard to see. 85 or 65. Can I do this and then, like... Yeah, lid open, okay? 
Interesting. I wonder how many more of those I have, these covers. And then put them in a box. Pack the phytocopies into the box. What what box? This box? Or a specific box? I guess that box? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's... it's like the in-between. I got box. You know, I was thinking... I can ask Tabaha to help you with the evacuation. No, Anabish. That's a bad idea. Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Why is that number so Isn't important? that this number? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested at the first registration. Well, what? All right. It's your call. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason, my name isn't on it. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. Well, maybe your name is not actually Ida. It's something else. Like, my mom's name. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well, I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. Undergo a what? A transfer. A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Gerbera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. And they were human at that Strange point? Is the word. And another thing, their age. These kids were really young, around five, six at the most. What's odd about their age? They were way too young. Well, five is odd. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here for whatever reason. And I played some kind of role in it. Only I don't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember more once your side is back. Maybe. If Tabaha makes good on his promise, and if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more about this device. The look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Yes. How does this screen provide sight? A look screen doesn't provide sight. Rather, it displays an image of eyes. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. Yeah, we've read about that. remember while you're out. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... Don't forget what? The box with the phytocopies. Help me understand something. What? No? New things? Why is it illegal to transfer children? I'm not sure. I think that it has to do with their nervous system, its development. Doing a transfer before it's fully formed is dangerous. Got it. Got it. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? You said these were five-year-old kids, right? I don't remember their exact age, but they looked no older than five, maybe six. And their new bodies, were they similarly small? No. Nobody even manufactured children's M bodies. There were only two standard models, adult and teenager. Children were transferred into teenage bodies. When leaving the Gerbera Garden, they looked around 15. Sounds fun! Not the coziest garden imaginable. Gee, I wonder why everyone got, like, weird Did panic attacks and freaked out. Help me understand something. What? Whose eyes are on your look screen? Mine. The same eyes I was born with. The same shape and proportions. Everything is stored in the Geno chip. My entire DNA. How do you know that when you can't see and you can't see yourself? How do you know they haven't been changed? Got it. Alright. I got the box. We're getting a lot of progress done today, at least. Might have time for another VR game. 
I guess we'll take this one. Oh. We'll take this thing in again, because that does save some time, I think. The soundtrack is kind of weird, like... It just kind of goes at random times. Yeah, it, it's like... Oh, God damn it. It's like they just made an album of music in this style, like, separate from the game, and then just, like, randomly start using that music at times. So I wonder if we're going to just play, like, every single one of these games eventually, or if it's just going to be one or two. So two was just right up here. Wasn't it two? Or did she say... Wait, did she say five? No. You wanted to know about the look screen. When you undergo a transfer, you put your palm over the palm of your future body and look into its eyes. It's like looking into a mirror. But this part is crucial. The transfer can't happen without it. Then you're immersed into a kind of peculiar state when you see yourself from the side. On a signal, you push off with your palm and a mirror appears between you. And then you're alone again. In your new body. Thanks. I see you. Opening. Thanks. Kind of weird timing. I guess maybe they they time that based on you not taking that thing and instead just walking. All right. What kind of game is it going to be now? Was this tropical island? I forgot. Yep. It looks pretty similar. I was hoping all of them would be, like, kind of different games. Collect 30 pink cubes. Hurl cubes into the uprising stream. Use bombs to destroy grey blocks. Apply pink cube to a red one to make the bomb explode. So the red ones were bombs, and for some reason I saw one in the previous one, even though I couldn't make use of it. So it's like... You know, technically we don't want to use any bombs at all, but I guess you have to use bombs to get at more of the pink ones or something. Where were the, like, grey blocks? Or what did they say? And I wonder, like, do I even need to worry about red ones at all? Oh, I see. Um, this is a bit of a problem. Okay, you can crouch to, like, get out of those. Alright, now I see why we want that. Don't know what the white... white cubes do, though.
Oh, I see. Okay, it's like blocking off more and more of the area. Okay, so that's why we actually want to, like, out. Can you just... Okay. We should probably, like, have a red and a pink one at all times, just in case. Just to be safe and, like, have something to, uh, blow up in an emergency. That's fine. I don't think I care, but should we try anyway? I don't know. Okay, you still keep the, the pink. Alright, so there's not really any reason to not blow up these things, because they're like in the way. Just take some time, I guess. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, and it only- wait, does it only throw the ones, like, after the one you've selected? So now... Uh, if I throw this, and then select this one and throw... No. Okay, never mind. I don't know what happened there exactly. And th that was it. I, like, barely needed to do anything. Yeah, that one was, like, far easier than the first one. Kind of strange to not start with this one. Yeah, looks like we're just going to be collecting body parts, one after the other. I'm sure we're going to need something in her head as well, and... ...something more in the chest, and maybe something to detach her from the... What the hell is happening? The legs? Um... Is it just a little foggy? Nothing else happening? Since we're here, might as well try out this one more time. Oh, crap. Yeah, so we can do that. But then... Yeah, then I just don't really know. Because, yeah, we can jump up here. And get all the way up here. But now I'm not sure. We can crouch, but I'm still just constantly sliding, and then I fall off like that and die. Yeah, that's like the best I've been able to do. I told you about the mirror between you and your former body. So, the mirror is turned on at the exact moment when your former body loses its original's right. It is concealed to keep you from seeing your face as it's put to death. The reason is that sometimes there are involuntary mimicking contractions that resemble a smile. Obviously, that is something best left unseen. What? What do you mean? The question is, can I just go back to Ida? I like how the trees, like, look better from afar, and then they load, and they look, like, worse. Because there's, like, more scattered uh, leaves or whatever. Yeah, like here. Nice hat. He did what I asked. That's surprising. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, what if we just go over here and talk to Ida and give her the look screen first 
then I guess there'll, there'll be some unique dialogue about now you need to go and get the lens, right? Is it gonna rain? Stop closing the door on me, Ida. Did you bring what I asked? Oh. Not yet. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it suddenly looks very depressing. Aha! Uh -huh. That that is a name. Express delivery service. Bill of lading? What? Cargo, boxes, furniture, rugs, dried fruit. Nice. Amanda Simpson, HQ 94. Nice. The famous photo model has agreed to release a limited edition of her Geno copy for the creation of elite contact girlfriends. All funds will be donated to support the Ugly One. The Ugly One. A psychological rehabilitation campaign for women outsiders. I see. I thought it was like one Ugly One. Cherry 3000 Contact Girlfriend HQ 92. Damn, they're so beautiful. Bodies can be replaced, but not friends. Tarhan, Tab Tabaha, and Batar. 2056. Waiting for you at the Azure Coast, summer 2035. It's a long time ago. Page from an old erotic magazine. Is it? Can't really see what what that is exactly. Weather forecast, partly cloudy, rain in the p.m. It is the p.m. now, I guess, or, well, it's cloudy right now. Sweet passium course, 903 units per gram. Project new beginning, completion deadline, 800 years. Desperatoxin content levels substantially above the norm. We recommend leaving the danger zone immediately. Anything else? Are we done looking at everything he asks? Nope. How to cut your M-body's energy consumption. Helpful advice for outsiders. A book, a woman, and a flask of wine. The three make heaven for me. It may be thine. Is some sour place of singing cold and bare. What? But then, I never said thy heaven was mine. Omar Khayyam? Uh-huh. Schedule of special flights. Setserleg and Bayang Kongor airports. I think they pronounced that and I don't remember. One more day promotion for folks with unprofitable passium. Collect 100 stickers, get, get a daily ration of fuel. I thought it was going to be like he was one day from retirement. Second place locomotive races, corporate competitions, Mongolian speedways. Looks like we are done now. Yeah, it's, it's a real shame that there's so much that you really want to, like, pinpoint Lady in Red. Pinpoint aim at, but the pinpoint aiming is so bad. And it's not like it's much better on controller anyway. Heredity Quotient, HQ, Soundness Assessment of the Hereditary appar Apparatus, Health of DNA, Purity of DNA. Did you know that the highest registered HQ to date is 98%? I'm sure I have a hundred. Or maybe Ida has a hundred. Warning issued to Mr. Tabaha Bayar. Obstructed public provision of information about his heredity quotient. Used a marker to change his display readout from 32 to 82. Decorated the display with fake jewelry. Ulaanbaatar evacuation service. So he's not too happy about his number, I guess. Also, yeah, his eyes look very weird. I guess that's the thing, like, his look screen is probably, like, a replacement or something, or a bootleg, while hers are actually, like, her real eyes. 
that fits the body or something. Three men in a Mongolian Speedway uniform signed underneath 2054. Okay. Are we done? Are we finally... Nope. Old bill of lading. Lotting? I don't know. Cargo. Plugs for shoulder joints. Two boxes. Tabaha. Prices for my repairs are more than fair. You should say yes. Or hand over to temperature sensor... What? To those Alkis from Tsertsaleg. Tsertsaleg. You'll pay less, but then don't complain when you're freezing in torrid heat. Anything else? Are we done? It's a lot of detail in every little thing. Except that amusement park that had, like, nothing, as far as I could see. Alright. Uh, well, I, I guess we don't really have time to talk to this guy now. Uh, so I guess I'll just leave it off, even though that I think that means I'm gonna have to redo some stuff. But I'll just redo it, like, before I start recording. Because, yeah, I imagine we'll have at least a sizable conversation here. Hopefully, it doesn't take away my box. Oh, shit. Why would you go there? Nope. Bye. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll continue this next time.